Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Uh, well, look, it's Wednesday and we've got some good news. Um, it's not often we can really speak of good news when it comes to Spurs, but today is actually a good day, okay? So we're going to talk a little bit about an incoming. We'll also talk a little bit about a player outgoing as well, okay? So let me start off with the main man himself. You can see him in even a thumbnail. He looks pretty decent in a Spurs shirt. James Madison. So... I've got a big smile on my face. I'm quite happy, to be honest. Um, Madders is joining from Leicester. Today, he is having his medical. That was reported by Alistair Gold, Charlie Eccleshire, loads of sources. He's having his medical, all right? Um, this came literally this morning from Fabrizio Romano. So I haven't had a chance to really do the video until now. I mean, we're into the early afternoon. I was working. I was busy, you know? And it says that Tottenham have now a verbal agreement in place with Leicester to sign James Madison. Here we go. That's an exciting thing. Uh, personal terms agreed. Deal ready for 40 million feet after talks advanced to final stages yesterday night. Next steps, medical tests, documents being prepared and then signed. So let's call it Friday. Let's say let's say within the next two days, he'll be signed, announced, video, all that jazz. OK, um, that was this morning. I think it was something like 7am or somewhere around there it came out. And uh, it was just so nice to hit, be hit with that bomber, as it's called, so early in the day. And it'd be a good bomber as well. Um, yeah, it, it definitely made my morning a little bit easier when I was at the gym this morning at the crack of dawn. So it definitely made my morning a little bit easier. I definitely put a li nice little spring on my step as well. It's something that Spurs need. We desperately need creativity. We also need to keep building on the homegrown situation. It it was a bit of a no-brainer, to be honest, you know. It didn't allow him to go to, you know, a rival in the league, you know. It was something that we needed, James Madison. So, really good signing. Really, really good signing. I definitely have zero issues with the signing. And, and actually, we can slag Enik and Daniel Levy off. And I'm definitely not a fan of either of those guys. But you know what? It, this came from Ben Jacobs and it said it, it only took around 48 hours for Tottenham to strike a deal with Leicester for James Madison worth an initial 40 million with add-ons on top. Spurs decided to move fast to avoid any surprises. This deal got done quickly. I mean, we are today uh, the 28th of June, right? The 28th of June and we've got two guys in. We've got the new number one goalkeeper. We've got the new creative attacking midfielder. And we're still hot on the tail of other players, which I'll have another video later for the other players, right? But to be this proactive and efficient is something that we just don't do. It's something that's not us. I mean, Daniel Levy probably would have tried to fight them down to 35 million. So for him to actually do this with some efficiency, it's very, very shocking. Very shocking. Um, just, a, just a, I, I want to run through... A little bit of his stats that I think will be really interesting for some people. But this one shocked me. So since the start of the 2018-19 season, so don't forget we're in 23-24, right? Since the start of the 2018-19 season, only Lionel Messi and James Ward-Prowse have scored more direct free kick goals than Tottenham bound target James Madison in Europe's top five leagues. So Messi had 16, Ward-Prowse had 15, and um, Madison had eight. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot. Only eight. That's really not good. Got to remember, these two guys that we're talking about, of Madison and War uh, not Madison and Warprouse, um, Messi and Warprouse are probably the two best free kick takers in the world. So Madison being in there, you know, it, it, it's, it's something. Especially because we've watched, and God, I love Harry Kane, but we've watched Harry Kane take free kicks. And I think they've landed in my back garden a few times. If not, they've just hit the wall. So it's nice that we have a set piece taker and we have quality of set pieces. I mean, you think last season we were very good from corners and very good from free kicks, scoring headers and things like that. Now we've got a guy who is a set piece specialist as well to, to help aid that, you know. It's super exciting. Um, what I want to go through a little bit about is some stats kind of from the... Um, the 2020, the 2020 to 21 season, right? So he played 31 times and in, he had eight goals, seven assists, so 15 goal contributions, right? So we're talking a goal contribution, one every two games. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. We then look at the 21-22 season. So we're now progressing on one more year. And he had 
In 35 games, he had 12 goals, 8 assists, and now 20 goal contributions. So more than one every two games, okay? So another step up. You know, we're talking scoring four more goals and getting an extra assist. So an extra five goal contributions in a season, which is very, very good. To then last season playing in 30 games and having 10 goals, 9 assists. So we're talking 19. It's one every 0.6 games, isn't it? Something like that. Or I don't know. Well, no, it's 1.6, whatever. Anyway, you can see what I mean, okay? Really, really exciting, okay? So good with set pieces, good playmaker, competent on the ball, you know, can take on a player, can play across, you know, the wing positions as well as more centrally as well. Um, what I would say is he also had this situation where, and this is no offence to some attackers in the Leicester team, he, you know, we're talking about him feeding players like Mark Albrighton, you know, um, Daka, Ian Acho, and ageing Vardy. He's now going from that to then feeding Hyun Min Son, top goal scorer, not last season, but the season before. Harry Kane, second top goal scorer in the league. He's going to probably rack up a few more assists than, you know, anywhere between eight and ten. He's going to be racking up, I think, somewhere closer to 12 to 14, to be honest, okay? And then just this last little bit, and this is from Alistair Gold. And he, he actually said, terrific deal for Spurs. They're getting James Madison for 40 million. Madison's the perfect fit, perfect fit for Postacoglu. And I've, I've literally intentionally left something out of this story because it's going to be talking about who is leaving, okay? But yeah, just to quickly sum up Madison, really happy with this news. The fact he's going to be in before the training, uh, the new tra the preseason training is going to be happening as well is massive, when we're building in a new system, we're building a new style of play, we need players in early doors to really get embedded in that system. So, fantastic news. So let me talk about the player that's leaving, okay? And he's actually going to Leicester as well, and I talked about it in another video. Harry Winks to Leicester. So I'll read you the full tweet, which includes the Madison situation from Alistair Gold. He says, Ter terrific couple of deals with Spurs. They're getting James Madison for 40 million, and Harry Winks is heading to Leicester in a separate deal for... 10 million. Madison's perfect for Postoglu and Winks should do really well at Leicester and help them in their bid to get back up. I saw a different report saying it was 8 plus 4 million, but it does kind of look like it's about 10 million pounds for Harry Winks, which I sort of said in a, in a video, what, a couple of days ago, we'd probably get about 10 million for Winks purely alone on the fact he's homegrown and the fact he's uh, his English tax. So it's nice to be right. I can't lie. I thought it might even be a little bit less, but I'm happy with 10 million if I'm honest. I think we should be looking at as a good deal. We're looking at when we look at things as like FFP, uh, how we can use that money to sort of lessen the effects of players uh, coming in as well. Think of a car is going to cost 17 million. Well, you've taken 10 million off of it on just winks alone. You know, that's not a bad thing whatsoever. So that's really exciting as well. And I'm happy for winks. He's going to get first team football. He's going to do really well in the championship. I think Leicester have got a good player for the championship at hands. And in the, other, in, in, our, in the other way, they get him in for the start of the season. We get Madison, who we really needed in for the start of our season. I think it's a win-win for both clubs. So anyway, guys, that's the end of it. Just really quick. Well, I'll have a little one uh, out a little bit later about some other targets, which are really exciting as well. But anyway, drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And obviously drop a like if you like Madison and all that jazz. Hit me in the comment section. 40, 45, maybe 50 million for Madison. Happy with that? Happy about Winks, what the situation is there. What do you think we may need next? Obviously, I've got another video coming out later, so I don't want to jump the horn too much, but there is some exciting stuff potentially coming out a little bit later. Subscribe if you are new. We had an absolute mad one yesterday. I think we were the biggest sub day that we had so far. You know, end of my summer goal being 350, and we're above 350 now already, and that was about three weeks ago I thought about that. So that's massive. So welcome to everyone who is new. And obviously, hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video, and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Take care, lads.